Welcome guys to part 2 of my mix for I Octane So Good. In the first video we dealt with Octane's vocals and I showed you how I treated them. Today it's time to treat the low end first, what I usually do after treating the lyrics. So here's my low end category. We have um, a bass intro. Um, a mid bass for the mid frequencies, a bass for the low frequencies, a kick groove and a sub kick. Actually I only got um, one bass for this track but I split the bass in two. So I just uh, made a copy and treated um, those two copies differently. And the reason why I did this was I felt that the low end and the high end of the bass, which are mid frequencies in general, needed some different treatment to get this one right. Because um, the low end of this track was a pretty tricky part. So um, let me show you what I did to this um, mid bass first. I'm, I'm going to play you the mid bass with my treatment first. Here we go. Okay, and um, without my treatment it sounds like this. It's the original bass. You can hear a lot of low end going on and using this EQ in a mid-side mode, cutting the stereo information with a pretty steep curve. Let's hear it. Okay, and also cutting uh, monitor information one 100 hertz on, um, but not too steep, as you can see. Let's hear it. In general, I use a bass as a mono track, but um, as I'm um, using this copy of the bass as a mid or high bass, I might want to use some of the stereo information. So I keep them from 100 on. Next step is some R bass. And there I added some harmonic information, 136 hertz. Sounds like this. Without. And with. Next step is the virtual mix rack. I added some high frequency information and also some information around 80. I added some shimmer for the top information and also I used a compressor. And it sounds like this. And without. Alright. In the next step, I used some distortion. My favorite plugin for bass is the good old decapitator. Sounds like this. But it definitely improves the character of the bass. I used it in parallel. You can see the mix knob is right in the middle. So um, without. And with. Okay, and lastly, I used this uh, Hoser EQ to um, boost some high end information. OK, 
Okay, and without? All right, clearly more top end. And now let's get to um, the low base. First in solo mode with the treatment on. Okay, and with everything off. You can hear it's the same bass as the first one, just a copy. But this time we get rid of everything besides the low end. You can see a low pass filter. Here we go. Okay, and then I felt we needed some more control over the sub frequencies, and that's why I used a multiband compressor on the very low end of this band. And also some good old R bass, but this time pretty low at 62 hertz. Here we go. And some virtual mi mix rack just a compressor to keep the overall balance in check. Here we go. And lastly, good old decapitator to give the bass some harmonic distortion. All right, and the two bases together. Here we go. And in comparison, just the base I received. Here we go. All right, big difference, right? Okay, now we continue with a kick drum. First, there is this kick groove, it's called. Let's see what it does. Okay, I clearly... Um, took out some of the low frequencies and boosted some high frequencies as you can see here as you use the compressor and also a shimmer to boost the attack of the kick so um, without the treatment it sounds like this and with it And also you can see on the Sneef model right here, I have a low cut filter at around 90 so that the sub kick and the kick groove don't interfere with each other. And let's listen to them together. Here we go. Okay, and the sub kick, I treat it like this. First, let me play you the sub kick just uh, without any things on. Here we go. Okay, big difference. First of all, I boosted some 190, I guess. Here we go. And without. With. And then I also added some shimmer and some thickness. Here we go.
and what's more at around yeah 2.90 kilohertz I added some more around 3 dB here we go and without with okay and then I felt this kick might need some more support so I pulled out the Slate's trigger plugin and it sounds like this without with okay as you can see I'm added some samples to it because I felt it might need some and um, what's more I also added um, parallel compression with a CLA 76 here we go and also some distortion okay this is before and this is after together with a kick groove it sounds like this low bass and mid bass and in the track it sounds like this Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time with part 3. Bye bye.